crafters and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm G and so happy to be with you tonight on November 30th. Oh my goodness. Right before we turn it over into December. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it's already here. Oh, yes, it is. Well, we are waiting for some people to hop on because I decided to hop on just a little bit early tonight. One minute. <laughs> so I'm waiting for my sis to say, yes, we are up and running. But we are so excited about tonight. Now, I want you to look at this shirt. You see this shirt? What do you think about that shirt? I am all decked out in... Christmas gear tonight. I have my nails done. I have my shirt on and we are just waiting. Oh, my sister Maudie says we are live. Now, I want to remind you, Maudie is over in the chat room here to answer all your questions, have fun with you. We are going to have fun tonight because we're going to create two cards and in between our first and second card, we are going to announce our giveaways next week. We actually have one big giveaway, but there's lots of ways to qualify. Hey there, Miss Lisa and Joan and Tisha. We are so happy that you joined us. Now, if you are watching the rebroadcast, please participate with us. We ask you questions and believe you me, Maudie and I read all the comments below this video and we enjoy them so much. Well, to kick off our first question, <laughs> did anybody have anything funny happen for Thanksgiving? Oh my goodness, we have Barbara and we have, uh, let me see, what's that name? Pinsonalt. Pinsonalt. And Annie, hey, welcome, ladies. Anybody have anything fun happen for Thanksgiving while we give it just a few minutes before we kick into our two cards? We have Judy as well. Thank you, Judy. I know I thought I would dress really festive tonight. Well, I have a funny story. I don't know, but we bought on Amazon these reindeer blow up ears, uh, blow up reindeer horns or whatever you call them, a rack. And then you throw rings. Well, remember I told you last time that my brother and his wife were coming. So it was a small get together. It was the four of us. But each of us had that thing tied on our head. And we were, Maddie and I were teammates. <laughs> and so we were having to throw them and try to hook them. Well, for some reason, Maddie's hands turned into like magnets. And she just kept throwing them and hooking them on my my whatever you call that. And so we won, but uh, it's all due to Maudie. I mean, it was so much fun and you can get those on Amazon. So you might want to get them for your Christmas party. Hello, Joan Horner and Linda Ziegler. I love the shirt. Thank you, Linda. So as we get ready to start making our first card, go ahead in the chat room and let us know what funny story you might have to share. Maddie and I typically burn the bread, the rolls, <laughs> but we, we didn't burn them this year, so I guess we paid attention. <laughs> hey, Polly, thank you so much for coming, ladies. Well, like I said, we're going to make two cards, so let's head down to the crafting table and let me show you the first card that we're going to make. So here we go. So we are going to make a gift card. And here you go. It's going to have a belly band. You open it up. It's a portrait card. You have where you write, and then you have room for your gift card. And what is so funny is that Monty and I have been working on this really, really cool giveaway for next week for like a whole month. And then we noticed everybody's doing gift cards. I think they, they copied us. They somehow got in our mind and they copied us. <laughs> hey, Lisa, Fisher, and Vashaw. Oh my goodness, we got you both tonight. All right. Well, let's go ahead and make our first card, okay? Are you ready? Now, I wanna remind you, you don't have to worry about writing all the dimensions down because they are already posted over on our website. So, antlers. <laughs> 
Thank you, Joan. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. I was like, uh, okay, I don't know. Antlers, you're so right. Okay, let me see if I can get us going. Okay, here we go. So the first thing you need to do to make this fantastic card is you are going to cut your card stock 10 and a half by five and a half. Now, what's so funny is Maddie and I have been working on this for, like I said, a month. And then we saw all these people, they start coming out with all these gift cards. <laughs> so, hey, Glow's with us tonight. So, take this card, 10 and a half by 5 and a half, and we're going to score it at 2. And I'm going to have to stop in a minute and show you my cute little nails. Oh, my goodness. I used my stamping to stamp my nails, but then I had bought some stickers and I have a little cute sticker on there that's really cute. So I'm just gonna very carefully score that at six and one fourth, and I hope that is six and one fourth. It's kind of dark. So here we go. So I have this scored. Now let me see if I can show you. Look at that. That's the stamping, but look at my little Santa. Can you see him? <laughs> How cute is that stamp, right? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get my little template, and I'm going to look at this cute card right in front of me. We are going to just crease this really well. We're going to bring in our bone folder, and we're going to make these two creases right here because our card folds this way. Now, if for some reason you have a little bit of excess here, this is a great tip. And this happens a lot when you have gate folds. You have to trim off just a little bit because otherwise it bubbles. You see that? We don't want that. So let's go ahead and cut just an eighth off, just a tiny smidgen. And that's all that I cut off right there. And now let's see if that closes. Look how that closes perfectly. You don't have to worry about it. Woohoo! <laughs> so the next thing we want to do is we want to bring in some mats. Now I went ahead and cut our mats to save us time because we have so much to talk about tonight. So let's go ahead and do our mat for this area. And we're gonna double mat it. So we went ahead and look at this. We cut Old Olive and we cut that beautiful DSP. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, that's a double negative. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> so we are gonna put that just right like that. So let's go ahead and get that laid down. Now this is a really easy card and the next card we make is using this as well, but it's not going to be a Christmas card. Are y'all ready for some other kind of cards? Or, or are you still loving Christmas cards? Let me know in the comments. And if you're watching the rebroadcast, let us know. Are you still searching for Christmas cards or are you ready to move on? Thank you cards, birthday cards. I think I'll turn it this way and just get that laid down. Now, you don't have to double mat this. That's what's so great about this design. The next card we make, we're not gonna double mat it. So, look at how pretty that is, though, with pecan pie. I just love that. Hey, Dawn, so happy you could join us. Now, the next thing we're doing is, we're gonna bring in our old olive again. We're gonna lay it down right on the top flap. And then I decided to try to find some kind of coordinating DSP. And believe me, it was hard because I didn't want anything that clashed with this, right? But I really think that that goes well. I don't know. I just think it picks up the pecan pie and this cardstock. What do you think? I think it does. You have to be careful when you're mixing your DSPs, don't you? Let me know, how do you decide how to mix your DSPs? Do you just look at the colors or do you look at the designs? 
Hi, Maureen. You're still wanting Christmas cards. Okay. Look at that. What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Now we need to decorate the middle of it. Okay. So what we've done is we're going to go ahead and lay this just like this because we are going to put our gift card pocket. So you can already tell that when you're cutting your mats, you need two first mats, right? So you know that this is going to be four by five and a fourth, and you need two of them. So that's just a good way to think about it. But like I said, don't worry about that because it's over on creativemomentsbyg.com. So let's just go ahead and lay this down. So far, super easy, right? Not to worry, nothing hard. And then this is where the sentiment is going to be, right here. But I don't know, I may want to stamp a little green tree right here. So I'm going to just put that to the side right now. Now we're going to look at our pocket. Now look at this. For the pocket, you cut five and a fourth by three. Now let me show you what you have to do. We need it to slant right here. So all we're going to do is grab our ruler and we are going to put a tick mark right here at one, just right there and then right over on this opposite side. And that will tell us exactly where to cut our diagonal. See, it's not hard at all. Oh, and I want to show you, look at this DSP. I mean, look at this paper that we embossed. Is that not beautiful? That is the new embossing folder, softly sophisticated. Oh. Love this. Look at that. Okay, so now we know that our card is going to go, let me see. I think that's a little long. Or let me see, that's a little long. So I must have, I hope I didn't cut that some other place. So we know this needs to be four. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I didn't have this meant for the other card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to come back in and I'm going to just score this at one. That's another great thing about this trimmer, right? You can just put a little bitty mark right there. And if that doesn't work, you can just score a little bitty mark. So we have a score line here and here. We're going to line that up in our trimmer. I always just put my nail right there and I turn it. That way everything is right where I need it. And I slice. Oh, Lisa, thank you so much for sharing the video. More people will come, right? <laughs> now look at this. This is how it goes because this is where you slip in your gift card. See how easy that is to do? It doesn't take any time at all. So what we need to do right here, here, on the bottom and on the side is let's use some tear and tape, okay? So I'm gonna bring in my silicone mat. I'm gonna turn this over. I'm gonna bring in my tear and tape. Welcome, Pat! So happy you're with us tonight. I'm just gonna rip that off. I'm gonna put it right here on the side. And you will have plenty of room for your gift card. And then we're just gonna put it at the bottom just like that. Okay, now I like to push it down with my thumb and then I bring in my take your pick tool, which where is that hiding? And I just lift off the backing. This is such a great card to make. You know, Maddie and I were making our list of Christmas cards that we're going to send. This may just be one that we need to send with a little gift card. So, we're just going to line this up right on the DSP and push it down. Now look at this, your gift card goes right there. 
Now we need to decorate this sentiment page, right? Remember I told you I might want to have a little Christmas tree. So here are the two stamp sets I'm working with tonight on this card, Brightest Glow and Merriest Trees. Now, I knew this would happen. I knew I would need a little, another acrylic block and I forgot to get it. So, but it's gonna be just a small one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it just like this. No, I'm gonna put it like this. Okay, and I'm going to stamp this right in the corner because it's a portrait card. So we're gonna bring in our shaded spruce, but I'm gonna stamp it light and then I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna give it the definition. So I may stamp off depending how dark it gets. It looks like it's getting pretty dark. So let's just kind of stamp off. Put a tree right there. Okay. And now I'm going to bring in the definition using the exact same color. But this time I'm not gonna stamp off. Barbara is from Australia. Welcome, Barbara. And now I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna let that ink transfer. Oh, Pat, thank you so much. Now look at that, look how pretty that is. We used the same ink pad, but we stamped off for the tree and that allowed us to go ahead and go in with a darker color. So that's just another little trick if you haven't thought about it in a while, right? So we're going to lay that down right here. And then we're going to move on to our belly band. Now, I have another trick to show you for this card that doesn't use a belly band. So make sure that you stay with us so that you can see the trick. Now look at that. Very quickly made. Now you just come in with your belly band and we cut this at nine and a half by one and a half. But you know, depending on your, your design that you're gonna put on the front, you don't have to do one that thick if you don't want to. Hey Rita. All right, from Illinois. So let's just go ahead and we are going to put it this way, even though it's not a landscape card. I'm gonna put it this way because I don't think it'll really hold it if I put it portrait. So let's go ahead and just get this created. Let's go ahead and line that up. Just kind of crease it where we want it. And then I'm just gonna bring in tape runner. And I'm gonna put a little piece of tape right there. Get that off, I went over just a little bit. And we're just gonna line it up. Okay, and now we have our belly band. We'll just move that to the side. Now look what I've done. How many of you, let me know in the comments, and if you're watching the rebroadcast, I wanna know as well. Maybe you don't use this stamp set, but do you have another stamp set that maybe has layers of the tree? You know, a lot of times we just stamp the tree and we stamp the definition on the tree, but we forget that you can layer the tree. That's always fun. So remember, we're gonna have it like this, but the tree is going to go up and down. So. The first thing I wanna do is I want to give us a little definition using our big stamp. So I'm gonna bring in our shaded spruce. Hey Sandra, welcome. We just love seeing our people. We, we know you guys and you come and <laughs> we feel like we already know everyone, right? I don't know if you've put any funny stories. I'm gonna to have to go back and read and see if anybody had anything funny happen on Thanksgiving. But now we're all a mad rush to Christmas, right? Okay, so see, I'm giving us just a little bit of definition. And then I'm going to kind of curl these just a little bit, but first I'm going to come in on the side and just barely go over the side. 
just to give it some additional definition you know that really does add and we forget to I forget to do that too and you'll see what a difference it makes and then we'll just come in here like this now look at the difference I think it makes such a difference gives it just a little bit of shading that we need and look at I'm going to show you these two See the difference in them? I think this one looks so much better. Yes, Carol, we are family. That is so true. Definitely. Okay, I'm just going to turn it a little bit. And I'm just going around the edges just to bring in some more definition. Okay, so I'm going to move that one. And now I'm going to do the big one. Okay. Oh my goodness, I felt like I brought in Christmas last night. <laughs> How many of you watched the Rockefeller show? I don't I don't know if it was on 7 or what, but ah, uh, it was so great. Cher was singing one of her songs and I really felt like, okay, Christmas has started. Now, I've never been to New York City when they do that, but boy does it look pretty so pretty okay now remember this is the important thing we know our belly band is going to go this way so we are going to and I was just looking ugh, I can't believe this I was just looking for <laughs> I found the star but I'm not seeing the sentiment oh well we will just do something different okay so I'm going to put the tree right here because look what I've done. I went ahead and I used the dies to do the base of the tree. How cute is that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just lay that down right there. And let's just center that. Make sure that we don't go above there we go and we're going to lay this one down and the other ones we're going to raise now we only want our glue right here on the belly band so we're just going down the middle of the tree we're going to set him right there and remember you can't go over the belly band because you need it to fit in the envelope right oh there we go. Now look at that. See how the shading just made it pop a little bit? I think it did. Now we're going to lift it up on some dimensionals. Thank you, Rita. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the dimensionals down because I'm going to down the middle because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to curl this just a little bit. Now, don't, where are my scissors? My favorite scissors. <laughs> okay, don't judge me. This is a no judgment zone. I have some favorite old scissors that I, I just like to use. <laughs> They're my favorite. So I'm just going to curl this just a little bit. Just a little bit. Kind of curl it like that. Okay, now I'm going to take the backing off. Do you have a favorite pair of scissors that you love too? Oh my goodness. Here we go. And see, it just kind of curls just a little bit. Look at that. Starting to look 3D. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to curl this just a little bit on the sides. a little bit and I'm going to bring in some dimensionals and I'm going to put one right on the top and one right there take the backing off and just kind of set this right here now with this particular set you actually have some strings that you could do Hey, 
Abiba, thanks for coming. But we did decided not to do strings. What we're going to do is we're going to put a few little red dots in different places. I thought that would be fun. So let's go ahead and just give a few little, little balls everywhere, just some different places to make it fun. Let's see. See what this looks like. These are just rhinestones that you can add. And you know what's so great about this card is if you don't have this tree, you probably have another tree. You don't have to have this one. You can just use this design to create a gift card. Oh, you are so right, Rita. People chatting helps engagement and YouTube then likes us more and puts us out. Thank you for helping us grow. We appreciate that. Okay, look at this. What do you think? Look at that. Kind of sparkles a little bit. So now we are ready to just add this. I'm seeing, oh, I forgot the star. Oh my goodness. Look at this, and look what I did. I don't know if you remember, but sometimes I lose things on the floor and I can't find them. I said, that's not gonna happen this time. I am gonna stick this with a piece of tape. It's not gonna happen. So let me get a mini dimensional. Just gonna put this little mini dimensional. Thank you, Carol. I tell you, I stayed up late last night working on my nails. <laughs> okay. Look at that. All right. We have our first gift card. Just a fun card, right? What do you think about that? Let us know what you think. So you take it off, and I really like how it kind of looks 3D. You take this off. Open it up, and I'm supposed to stamp a message, and I'm looking for the message. Oh my goodness, I know I have it. Just be patient with me. Here it is. <laughs> okay, I have to stamp this. Okay, I'm going to put this on. And everybody hold your breath because I re-inked my blue. And I like to stamp in blue instead of black. So tap, tap, tap. I'm going to stamp off. I'm a little nervous. Oh, that would have been perfect. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Just going to put it right down here. Hold it for just a second. Oh, yes! It worked. You know, sometimes after you re-ink your ink pads, it doesn't work, but that worked just perfectly. That tree is on fire. Abiba, thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get this lined up. Let me see one more time. Look at how cute that looks. I think Maudie, sis, I think we're going to have to give this away. Maybe we can give this to one of your grandkids and we'll put a gift card in it. That would be fun. Okay, I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to go ahead and put this one back together. Now, <clears throat> remember I said that I was going to show you what we're going to do next week. Are you ready for this? Okay, let's see if I can... Okay, now, I may disappear. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, here we go. Okay, let me see. I know, I can get there. I can get there. Okay, look at what we have here. Maudie and I are doing five days of giving. Now, at the end of this, if you have your name in the drawing... Somebody is going to win a brand new mini embossing machine. Yay! <laughs> we were just thinking, how can we show our appreciation for all our crafting friends who stand by us 
and come to our lives and write comments on our channel. And so this is how we're going to do it. So let me go over the rules. Let's see if I can read this. I need to get just a little bit closer. Okay. The first way you can get your name entered is if you spend a small $25 on our site, you will get your name put in the drawing once. For every $25, you're going to get your name put in once. And that's just next week. So Monday through Friday is all we're doing this. Now, the second way is a little more confusing, but you're going to understand this. We have channels on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Okay? So, Monday, we're going to put a short on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. And all you have to do is go there and make a comment. Your name gets automatically put in the drawing. And if you do it on all three, you get three names in the drawing. Now, let me show you what it's going to look like. And if you have questions, I'm happy to answer them. And if you're watching the rebroadcast and you're a little confused, I'm going to be watching those comments this weekend. So all you have to do is write your comment. Now, let me show you. I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can split this again. Let me get rid of that one. Okay, here we go. This is what it's going to look like when Monday rolls around on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, you're going to see the short and it's going to look like that day one gift giving. And what's so cool is these are fantastic gift cards that you can make. You're going to love them. Did everybody see that? Okay, so on Monday, you're going to see a short that says day one gift giving. You're gonna make a comment. If you don't use TikTok, we'll go to Instagram and make a comment. Or go to YouTube and make a comment. Maudie and I are going to keep tabs of who's making comments. And on Monday, you can get three entries. If you make a comment on YouTube, you get an entry. If you make a comment on Instagram, you get an entry. If you make a comment on TikTok, you get an entry. There you go. And then that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, we're going to have the drawing and we will post the winner Saturday on our Facebook page. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Not only do you get entered in the drawing, remember, you can make a comment or you can place a little $25 order. Every little $25 order gets your name entered. Uh, but you're going to possibly win the mini embossing machine. Now, I will say, I will remind everyone, whether you're watching the rebroadcast or the live, we cannot ship outside the United States. So please remember that. We can only ship to people in the United States. So now... I'm going to get everything set up for our second card, and you can start asking Maudie questions. <laughs> get ready, sis. I think, you know, they might have some questions for you. Now, I'm going to post that flyer up on our Facebook page. So if you have questions, you know, go over there, and it'll answer all your questions. So uh, I don't know what Rita means by saying disappear. I'm not real sure about that. So maybe let us know about that. I'm going to take that off, put that on. Okay, so now let's go to our second card. This is the one I told you that is not a Christmas card. And this is going to be a landscape. So I'm bringing in my handy dandy tray. I like to do that. Now remember I said stay with us because we have another card to show you. Woo, I passed by real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and the stamp sets we're going to be uh, working with, I know, Anne, I'm telling you, we've just got to get on over to the tech age. <laughs> we are going to be using a sentiment from Happy Labels, another sentiment from Quiet Meadow, and then we are using this beautiful 
Rose from Stippled Roses. Oh my goodness, you're going to love it. So now remember, the first thing that you need to do is take your cardstock and you need to cut it 10 and a half by five and a half and we're gonna make some score lines. And you make the same score lines whether it is a portrait or it is a landscape. So we are going to score, move this cutting blade out of the way. At two, we're gonna extend our arm and we're going to score at six and a fourth. I'm just gonna be real careful and get that right there. Okay. I'm gonna move it over just a tiny bit and we're gonna score. So at two and six and a fourth. Now, let's go ahead and just get these creased really well. Use that bone folder. Oh, Rita, you don't have one. Good luck. So let's go ahead and crease that. Now, remember the little trick I told you? On this one, we don't need to do that because it's closing perfectly, so we don't have to worry about it. And um, you said it might disappear. I don't even know what I meant when I said it would disappear. <laughs> what is going to disappear, Rita? You'll have to tell me what is going to disappear. Okay, now look at what we did. We took their DSP. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And you know what's so great about that? Is their stamp is distinctive. So they've already done the shading for you, right? So you could actually, oh, this is great paper. Here's a tip. You can use it like this, or maybe you want to use it as spotlighting. Have you ever done that? Where you put a circle there and you just color the inside. Everything else is black and white. So pretty. Well, now remember, this is a landscape card. So we have it just like this. And on this one, we're not using a belly band. We're going to use something different to hold it together. Does anybody know what we're going to use? Okay. So the first thing, I hope I'm doing this right. I think I'm going to go ahead and um, let me see. I'm going to get this. Okay, so when you open it up like this, we want our sentiment down here. So this is where we're going to put our sentiment. But I'm going to leave this, I'm not gonna glue it yet because I don't like to glue things and then stamp them in case I make a mistake, right? That makes it kind of hard. Remember when I told you you need to cut two of these DSPs? Oh, I don't see hearts! But my sister tells me that people send me hearts, but when I'm on this broadcasting system that we use, we use Switcher Studio, I don't get to see the hearts. Thank you, Rita. Okay, so we are going to put DSP right there, but we're also going to put it right here. So it's going to go on the outside. And you know what? Here we have it. And I just thought, I just made a, a misstep. We are going to use a belly band. I'm going to show you how not to use a belly band on the last card that I show you. Yes, and... <laughs> You got it right. I actually have a card with Velcro dots. So let's go ahead and lay this down. Now remember I said on the last card we double matted, but you don't have to double mat. If you don't want to use all your DSP, don't. Don't double mat. You don't have to do that. It's just as pretty. Well, almost as pretty. <laughs> I like to use double mats. So we have this right here. We are going to put this right on the front. I'm just checking to make sure, not making a mistake. Oh, Gloria, I see your hearts because you put them in the comment. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I am just so excited tonight. I have on my Christmas shirt, my nails are done. I watched the, um, oh my goodness, what's the name of the lighting of the tree? <laughs> anyway, I watched that. I am ready for Christmas. Maudie and I are going to decorate my tree. I have a little tree that I put up in the house. We're going to decorate that tomorrow. I am pumped. I'm ready for December. <laughs> so we have this. 
This is our sentiment page, but we're gonna wait. And now we need to decorate this right here. Now, before I do that, I want to go ahead and color my flower because I wanna make sure that I pick the right mat. I have three different mats picked out. Can you believe that? So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down. And you know what is so great about this? This distinctive stamp, do you see how it already has the shading on it? I just absolutely love that. So I'm gonna bring in Calypso Coral and I'm going to use the paintbrush and I'm gonna very quickly color these. And then if I need to, I'm gonna go back in with the darker Calypso. But that's what makes it so nice. This um, distinctive already has all the shading for you. So now look at this. You can just go over just like this very quickly. I love that. Of course, you can get as detailed as you want, but you know a lot of times people don't feel comfortable coloring. And so I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't bring that in just a little bit more. Okay, but look at that. Look at how it brings it to life. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Our mother loved yellow roses. Can you imagine bringing in a Daffodil Delight and doing this as a yellow rose? Wouldn't that be beautiful? So pretty. Now we have our little bitty roses right there. So you need to switch over to your pencil nib. Wow, it's kind of hard to tell, but I think it's right here. And just color in, because a lot of this is leaves. And I may, I may, well no, that looks like part of the flower, okay. I just had it upside down. We really love distinctive because a lot of times you can't tell what to shade and you don't have to worry about it. It's all the guesswork is gone, right? So I'm gonna put just a little bit right there. Did, oh, got a few little roses right here. And oh, look at how pretty that looks. Now I may go in with just a little bit of the dark Calypso. Let's just see what happens when I do that. Just a little bit, just a shade. Cause you know, one thing you can do is you can always come back in with the light and it will mute it. So you don't have to worry about it getting too dark. If you don't like it, just go back in and uh, the light can take it out. So I'm just gonna go over a little bit, a little bit right there. What do you think about that? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. And now we're gonna bring in Old Olive and we're just going to color our leaves. And once again, it's that distinctive, so you can use your brush nib and just come in. Oh, dear Anne. <laughs> I'm gonna let Maudie answer that. <laughs> Maudie has some beautiful decorations that she is loaning me, so. You know what I think it would be, sis? M Anne wants to know, what is the theme for your Christmas tree? I think I would have to say family because Maudie has beautiful, beautiful decorations that she has had over the years that she's received from family, so. I think that would be it. Let me know what is your theme for your Christmas tree. If you're doing, if you're watching the rebroadcast, tell us, please let us know. We, I would love to know what everybody does. We're not really, um, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to decorate 
this leaf, get this all done. And I think that needs to be the Calypso. Don't you love this Calypso? Oh my goodness. I just love it. We are almost done here. Now, I'm going to... Oh, look at how pretty that looks. Okay. Now, I switched over to my pencil nib because I have those little bitty leaves. And you don't want to get it too fat. So I'm going to bring this back in and I'm going to color this one last little thing. Now, let me see here. I don't know if this... I don't want to run go get my other cutting machine, my little mini. So I'm just going to cut this really thin and I have another one that I use that I think it can go through. So let's just see if we can get this to cut. Okay, so I'm going to put it just like that. I'm going to see if I can find my die. And look at this, we are just going to line this up just like this and run it through my machine. Let's just make sure we get it all lined up in a few places so it doesn't move. And let's just get this run through here. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, look at this. So pretty. Look at that. What do you think? Isn't that gorgeous? Okay. Now I can see which of these I want to use. Let me see, I think I need to get a little closer. I can get a little bit of help here. We need some help. This is going to be our belly band, but which color do you like? This is gonna be our belly band. We have this one. Okay, look at that one, that's number one. Here is number two. Let me know which one you like. And I'm gonna give you just a second, and here is number three. So which of these do you like? Number one, should I use it? I know which one I want. Number two, or number three. Okay, I'm gonna wait 30 seconds. I'm gonna talk about something else. One, two, three. Put the number in the comments and let us know. We have number two, two, oh my goodness, two looks like it's winning. That's number two. Okay, we have two. <laughs> we have two twos now. Who else is gonna gonna vote here? Come on. Now, this is the way the belly band, or no, I think the belly band's gonna go this way. Because it's not long enough to go the other way. So the belly band's gonna go this way. And the flowers are gonna oh, we have number one. Let me see. We have one, 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 one. One. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Oh, oh, oh. Number one is the winner. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm so glad you picked number one because that was my choice. I kind of liked number one, but I was going to go with whatever was the majority. So let's go ahead and lay this down. I really like kind of a alternating color, something that kind of pops, right? So let's go ahead and just, 
My fingers are sticking to the screen. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get this just the way we want our belly band. Let's bring it in close. Bring in our little folder right there. Bring in our tape runner. Put a little piece of tape. Okay. So now we have that. And all we need to do is add this a little bit. So I'm gonna bring this in. I have a mess over here, and I have this little flower right there. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that in early espresso. And what is so great, uh-oh, Susan, did I make a mistake? I mean, that it's like Sis said. Um, the time delay, it's terrible at my house. Was it number two? Well, I am sorry, people. <laughs> Crafting friends. <laughs> You're just going to have to forgive me. I did not see that. I thought it was one, and then I moved on. So let's go ahead and color this. Oops. That's the dark. Let's go ahead and bring in the light. That's okay. It kind of looks like shading, doesn't it? You know, I, I use Xfinity, so I have really good bandwidth, but for some reason, I still have delays. I don't understand that. I wish I could get that fixed, but I can't. So we're just bringing in our old olive. Now look at that. See how it's shaded? So pretty. Oh, Lisa, I love that. I love that. That's right. We need to all say Merry Christmas. You need to say whatever you feel you need to say. If you don't want to say Merry Christmas, you don't have to. Okay. So we have this. I have this beautiful little thinking of you. We are going to put that, once we get it on the belly band, right down here. Look how pretty that looks. And then on the inside, we're going to stamp this, which I would tell you what it says, but I really can't read it. <laughs> it's, it's too small. I'll be able to read it once I get it on the card. Oh, that's too funny. I should have known. Look at how pretty that is. You are my happy place. And don't you love that? Look at that. I love it when they mix fonts. What do you think about that? What do you think? Isn't that pretty? Love it, love it, love it. So let's go ahead and lay this down. And I tell you, the time just goes by so fast. Madi and I always talk about that. Where did the time go? Let's go ahead and close this up. Let's put our belly band on. Let's go ahead and get this. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and set that up on dimensionals because it's just so pretty. And I'm gonna put it right in the middle, right here. Now, this will be a little thicker in your envelope, so you might have to pay a few pennies more but that's okay, right? It's a beautiful gift card. So we don't mind paying a few pennies more. Okay. So here we go. Oh, it's stuck to my fingers. And Madi said, don't put it upside down. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I thought it was where the big one, and then we have a rose. If we do it like that, that would be upside down. Okay. Sis, I hope I did it right. <laughs> now, I hope I did it right. Now let's go ahead and just set this up right here, there. I think I'm gonna set it up there and use mini dimensionals. If I can find my mini dimensionals, yes I can. 
So let's just get a few of these. And you know, I really love using many dimensionals, you know? They're so important because sometimes you have that little bitty sentiment and you have to have those or you're gonna have to cut your dimensionals, right? Uh, you can put it down here or up there. I'm trying to think. Mm, uh, I don't know. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going to put it down here. I'm just going to put it down there. Now, we have not added our pocket. So remember what we have to do. Now, oh, look at that. That pocket was for this. Hang on just a second. <laughs> I, I knew it was wrong. I knew I had the wrong piece. So we're going to cut a pocket very quick. And the pocket is five and a fourth by three. And remember what we do. We have our pocket right here. We're going to put a tick mark at one and we're going to put a tick mark right here. So let's go ahead and just grab our pen, put our tick mark, put a tick mark on the side, right there. And that tells us where to cut the diagonal. So let's just rotate this. We're going to put the tick mark there. We're going to rotate it. Make sure it's in the canal and slice. Now we put our pocket right there. We have to bring in our tape. Let's see, just make sure. And we put it on the sides. Almost done, ladies. Okay. Let the games begin. <laughs> Hi, Renee. I know this set. I mean, we almost didn't get this set, but when we got it, we're like, oh, golly, this is pretty. We're going to take the backing off of our take of our tape runner. Just going to line this up. Get lined up. And now you put your gift card right here. Look at that. And you fold it over. We have our gift card. Now, between the two cards that we made, which is your favorite? If you are watching the rebroadcast, take a moment and let us know which is your favorite. Look at those. Love those cards. Now, I showed you this one earlier. Oh, I love this. I love these flowers. So pretty. This is a portrait card. Slips right in. Now, remember, I told you we actually had one that didn't require a belly band. Look at this one. This is the new stamp set. Lavender something or other. <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. Look at those colors. And we used a Velcro. You can get those anywhere practically. Walmart, Hobby Lobby. And you open it up. And look at that. I love this. I love the colors, Coastal Cabana. I love this embossing folder. So pretty. So take a moment in your comments and let us know which is your favorite. Christmas tree, I do love the shading on this Christmas tree. The rose card, Jolie loves the rose card. This beautiful card or our lavender card. 
take a moment and let us know which is your favorite. Yes, Gloria, I the lavender or the stippling rose? Pat loves the Christmas tree. I do. I love that extra shading, you know? That really makes all the difference, right? I think it does. Makes all the difference. Let me know which is your favorite. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, let me see here. I'm going to do something real quick. Here we go. Okay, ladies. <laughs> we finished our night. Thank you so much, Monty, and I just appreciate you so much. We hope you like this this gift card. Now remember, I'm going to post the flyer over on our Facebook page, which is of course Creative Moments by G. So in case you forget how to play next week, it doesn't start till Monday. But I'm telling you, the gift cards that we have coming up Monday through Friday, either on Instagram, uh, YouTube, or TikTok, they're all the same. They are so cute. You will want to make them for your Christmas or your birthday gift cards. Well, once again, thank you so much. We just appreciate everyone that watches us live, everyone that watches the rebroadcast. If you were inspired a little bit, we would love to have a like, share, and subscribe. Go out, make it a fantastic weekend. And we're gonna see you next week because that's the first week of December. And so we're gonna be live again next Thursday. We hope that you join us. Bye-bye.